Hey guys, Kristen and Doug here. Just wanted to show you a little update on how Doug's doing with uh, stairs and doorways. So the first night Doug arrived, um, he pancaked at the bottom of these stairs because it looked very, very scary and intimidating to him. So we've been working on this kind of stuff a lot and he's working on a 15 foot long line and his remote collar. So uh, when you see him walking up and down, it's all him. And if he gets stuck, because he and I have established a communication through the remote caller, I can help him through it. So I just really want to celebrate this um, for Doug because this is monumental for him to be able to be um, comfortable and calm enough to walk through that door with confidence. So I'll show you what we got. Let's go. Doug here. Let's go. Good boy. Place. Good job. Sit. Yes, good boy. So just to give a little context, what I've done is I have these place cots set up um, here in the house for when I walk in or at the destination of whatever we're doing. Doug and I have done a lot of practice at putting him on targets. So that's his boundary, his place caught. So that every step of the way, he knows what he's supposed to be doing. He knows that I'm gonna give him a set of instructions and when he gets into the house, he doesn't have to worry about what he needs to do when he gets in the house. Um, so he was very worried about walking up and down stairs, walking through the doorway. Sometimes the difference between the light outside and the dark inside can be intimidating. Um, some dogs are just uncomfortable with it. And then when we got into the house, the floors are all different. So we have tile, hardwood, dog beds. We have these little carpeted mats. So Doug would be walking in and there's all this stuff to look at in the house. There's other dogs here. And then he'd get worried again because he was unsure about what to do once he got into the house. So with a lot of practice and place training, target training, um, Doug knows that once we walk through the house, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put him on his place cot and he's going to hang out there for a while and just sort of gather himself together. And when he's on his place cot, he's working. He has a job. His job is to stay there, not to leave, wait for his next set of instructions. So when you have a really nervous and fearful dog, they need instructions every step of the way. So this is the process that I'm using with Doug to give him all the information that he needs so that he doesn't have to worry, he doesn't have to stress out, and he can still function through all sorts of normal daily activities. And he